Greetings, my fellow Ammonites. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld False God, Episode 82, Shell Bell 2.0. Oh, Mino died in one stab from a pylum to the heart. I did say it get bloody. I think that was Tronka, right? Yep. Coming for you, Tronka. You better believe you're next. I don't think I need Berserk Pulse anymore. And they're fleeing. Okay, you're pretty messed up, Squeak. You should go rest. Everybody else has somewhat superficial wounds other than, of course, Mino. Stop trying to hit me after the fact, you idiot. I guess you're gonna die then. Uh, okay, you guys want Android tech that has been up there for a long time. Uh, I can't really do any research right now because everything's turned off, so it's going to have to wait. Jogger and Nimble. Oh, you're not terrible. I don't think I have a prison set up for convertees, though. But I could. Oh, well, actually, we don't convert, but but for prisoners, I should say. So, let's see. Uh, Kilgore, capture. Quick sleeper, pretty. But missing an entire arm. Old Man Mino. You are going to join us over here. There's always a possibility of a pull to revive you, uh, but we don't have to make that determination immediately. And then Aviator. Where'd Squeak? Squeakums. No, you keep going. Because Amon Ra's out on trade runs. Gotta have Junior Doctor over here do the doctoring. I think all the critical stuff has already been done. So, this next colony does not have gold, so it's good that we bought the gold at the first one. There's nothing I want here, so I'm gonna start to return home. Try to get that advanced toolkit, or advanced nano kits made. The other thing I want is this, the limestone sarcophagus. So Macho, even though you're wounded, I'm gonna wake you up. How are you gonna hunt Great Hermit? He's behind my walls, silly croc. Almost landed on the uh, the giraffe. All right, this next task is just to move the gold. There, Scorpio already has it. That was quick. Mike is the only... Oh, is getting treated. Done. And then this is going to be for 
me know. Firefly, you're the guide. You should be the one to bury, and we'll kick off the funeral. How's the power up here? Okay, we have a power excess. That's good. And Mino is interned. Sarcophagus bears the depiction of a group of ships. It was a pylum that did, well, whatever. If you say so. So Amon Ron Guerrero are almost home. They're bringing home the gold, the last remaining gold required for the nano kits. So Lady Shell's getting the nano kits going. Squeak. You're infected. So preach health. Oh, and it might help to actually tend to you. Uh, which I will do with Omnira as soon as he's not busy. Yeah, the down hostile in the first raid just got up and walked away. That's what happens when um, you don't bleed them. And I didn't use bleed attacks. I used um, blunt. Is oh, I forgot to ditch the thrumbo horn. Oh well. Is that with blunt attacks, they are not bleeding to death. So there's time to get up and walk away. I have a kind of a lot of stone, I just realized. Like, a lot of stone. I haven't been given a monument quest in a long time. I've noticed. Quite some time. So Ra's putting the gold away. Done. And that's all the gold I'm going to need for the nano kits. So these nano kits are not super cheap. Is it time for a Grand Pyramid? Maybe. That'd have to be voted on, but maybe at some point. Wow. Even down a generator and two coolers, uh, we're still enough freezing to keep bugs away in that corridor. So this prisoner here, we will try to recruit. For reference, Jogger and Nimble. So two incredibly good traits for a brawler to have. Only two more nano kits to go. I'm already half an hour over. I really don't like the maintenance required on these uh, on these freeze tunnels. I mean, I know I need them, but it's so annoying. You wonder if guests would buy the horns? Uh, I can already answer that. No, I've I've had them on the shelves for ages and ages and ages, and no one ever bought them. And you can't sell them, so I just throw them out when I have the chance. Because nobody wants them. Highly valuable and sought up by no one. Alright, so I just have a high priority haul just so that we can get rid of the bodies, especially the ones that are rotting, because rotting bodies are ugly. I am... 
Why are we making... No, make the nano kits. Gold, silver. Do I not have access to silver? I don't. Silver is the problem. Copy that. How many hours do I have in RimWorld? I have no idea. I was uh, playing RimWorld before it was on Steam. And then also, I do a lot of not playing RimWorld when I'm playing RimWorld. I know that doesn't really make sense, but a lot of what I do is like modding and testing and things like that. So I, it's, I have no idea. It's not really something I can answer. All right, Lady Shell, go, the Silver Seer. Make a robot for each river. I could make a tier one robot that just knows how to repair for each river. What is your purpose? You repair uh, the, the freezer tunnels. I, I would do that goal. Uh, I think the issue is I'd have to trim out some of the coolers so that I could have a charger for the robot in there. But hey, little repair area would be helpful. I'm not gonna lie. I think what's happened here is I've gotten rid of the silver hauling zone. So I gotta put that back. Let's call it silver for lab. And stick this in the animal hauler zone. And then we could start stocking silver back into the lab. Could I stop having... Man hundred canines show up. That is a constant theme. Let's close the door. And we're fine. I don't think anyone's on that left side anyway. Is this a mod based on Stargate? No, it is not. There is nothing Stargate about this. You read the about command. You can learn more if you want. This is the ad last advanced nano kit. Then it's fingers crossed that we don't fail at the surgery. Because if we do, I, I have enough gold for another nano kit, but like... I don't know, I'm going to lose my mind if we fail. So, here we go. Uh, install Neural Chip with Advanced Nano Kits. Do with Elizabeth, who has the surgery success chance of 110%, plus 8%, plus uh, well, Okay, plus five. Okay, we have a total surgery success chance of like 120%. She's fine. Oh, robot surgeries use crafting skill? Do they? Trust but verify. Yep, uses crafting seal. So, Lady Shell, you do it. She's a 20 crafter, so I'm assuming that correlates to 20 doctoring ish. a level 20 crafter tier 3 android still fail it's it, it's utterly ridiculous utterly ridiculous I, 
I just, I don't, I, uh, at a loss for words here. All right, Amara, what are you up to? Let's go try to buy components from these guys so I can cut down on the making a bajillion freaking th stupid things again. They don't even have components. Do you have gold at least? No, you don't have gold. Why do you even show up? If you don't have things to sell me, don't arrive. You're not welcome here. You can have my tainted clothing. That is what you're entitled to now. The bed is a masterwork bed, so it's about as high as a modifier as you can get. The room isn't all that dirty. There's really, no, I mean, there is no real good reason for that to have failed. But I just keep getting critically unlucky, is I think the way to summarize. So here we go, making more advanced nano kits. You know what? I don't even have enough for the neurochip. I don't have the gold for the neurochip anymore. I am, um, SOL. Because we used up, uh, all the gold that we had just now. Okay, uh, Yamara, you don't have to be the one to flick that. And you did anyway. Let's see. Uh, the nudist won't show up because it's too cold. You bring a shaman merchant, and then you bring a bulk goods. I don't want to go on another trade run because the last few play, the last place I went to didn't even have gold. What is the quarry modify gold chance? It's very very low, it's two point two percent. So it's possible to get gold out of the quarry, but it's not likely. Uh, I think what I could do is just break down these skill servers. I don't like the idea of doing that, but I don't see that I have another good option. So I'm going to break these down because they're full of gold. And use that gold uh, to bridge the gap. Alright, Amun Ra, where are you? Sleeping. I don't even know if if the six servers that I had would have even been enough to be able to add skills to a tier three machine or a tier four machine. Probably not. So this chip needs 24 components. I have 22 and I'm working My luck on surgery has been so dismal. It is ridiculous. I hope the Balkan Trader doesn't exit west. <laughs> They'll get sled dog slaughtered. Got myself two little animus stones now. It's so swanky. Despite the age reversal, Amon Ra still has Colonel Sanders white hair. I'm going to remove the Age Reverse Amun Ra from the goals up top because I did at least one cycle of that.
And I'm just gonna have him help uh, Lady Shell Smith. Because he's still a good crafter. In fact, I might have Amun Ra do the next surgery, because he has 17 craft, 17 medical. So, he's probably the best suited to try to implant a VX2 chip. Provided that he's not hypothermic in the um, in the server room, but I don't think he would be. Because he's, he's pretty well insulated. So this is Nano Kit 4 of 8. And then I'm trying to make the components for the uh, for the VX2 chip. The resources in trying to give Shell Bell a body back has been a larger undertaking than anything else this community has done by like a factor of three. It's a larger project than the Freezing the Rivers, it's a larger project than the Sphinx, it's a larger project than everything else. It has been absurd. Alright, JFET, this is getting a little messy, so stop until the animals pull this stuff out. <laughs> Just a big old pile of stuff that he's been coring up. So all of Shelbell's health problems, you know, the psychosis res psychosis and dementia they're all cleared it just we just took her consciousness out but none of the other bits that we didn't want which is also a, a pretty useful thing it, it means that we could hypothetically resurrect any one of these guys and digitize them although given the amount of effort that it's taken so far i'm not really sure i'm gonna sign up for that anytime soon because it's just been so annoying At every turn, it fails, which is brutal. I usually play uh, 300 by 300 maps, Queen. So this, I think, is no exception. It's still a 300 by 300. Sometimes when I feel like the scenario calls for a smaller or a larger map, if I'm trying to make a giant Metrop or a, a giant city, or um, I like the challenge of something small, I'll pick a different map size, but generally my code 2 is 300 by 300. All right, the Raider Outpost failed because we never bothered to go out there, which is fine. I wasn't obligated to do it. It was never a goal. It was just a voted quest to accept, but there was no penalty. We almost drew the battery down to zero. Glad I caught that to turn that off. Browning out would have been bad. Was that the Persona Core quest? It was, yes. Between all of the recurring um, the recurring raids that we had, there was just never a good window to get out there. So I never, I never got to go out. Oh, I still have people restricted. Silly me. Oh no, should I? Now nah, the, the wolves are going away. And I'll pack a joint. Alright, so all the nano kits are done. Now we're just waiting on the VX2 chip. And for the VX2 chip, we need components that Amon Ra is going to make. Or Lady Sh Shell. So I'm going to have Lady Shell do it. Hey, Guero, I'm 99% sure I told you to go tame the hippo.
<laughs> a rhino self-tamed. Perfect. March yourself over to the slaughter. Thank you. There are still huskies here, but they're all, like, malnourished and not dangerous. Yeah, you can see them trying to chase Guero. Actually, I don't even know what the husky's doing. I might be leaving the map tile on the east side of the map. Because it, it seems to be completely ignoring my guests here. So, three more components, and I will have enough components for the VX2 chip. We'll make that VX2 chip, and, uh... And hopefully the sur surgery will go well this time. If it doesn't, I'm gonna lose my mind, and, and it will have to be a cliffhanger for <laughs> next stream. Because I have tried so many times, and failed so many times in a row. If you're looking for my PC specs, they're on my website, yeah. Although, one of the PC specs is changing later tonight. Because my AIO CPU water cooler failed. Or is currently in a state of failing, and I'm replacing it tonight. I, the part arrived today. It's probably on my porch, because, you know, my wife would never get the front door. <laughs> I live on a sleepy little street, so I don't think anyone's ever going to steal it, though. No, it's, she's, she's busy taking care of my newborn. Our newborn. It's not just mine. So, she's got her hands full, understandably. Alright, so here's the VX2 chip. Oh, God. Don't screw this up. I'm already almost an hour over time. Don't announce that there's something valuable on my porch of steel. No one knows where I live. <laughs> it's fine. And hey, if you want my, you know, replacement AIO water cooler, uh, you know, whatever. It's probably, it does, has very little resale value, that's for sure. It's not useful to anyone except for the people that have my chipset and everything else. Very small subset of people. That even know what to do with it. I'm a little tempted to sell that Zeus hammer. I don't really see that it's ever going to have a use. Because I don't think I would ever use it on um, Amun-Ra. Because it's so dangerous for Amun-Ra to be in melee combat. That, uh, that it's a weapon with no purpose. In fact... I'm going to make that determination now. I am going to sell it. Because there will never be a case where amon Ra wants to use that and endanger his own life being in melee combat. Because he's basically just a dedicated sidecaster at this point. Could Shebel use it? Nope. Robots don't get weapons. Never will, ever, ever get weapons. So, it's not useful to the robots. It's not useful to my colonists because they can't hold it. It's forbidden tech. And it would only be useful for Amon Ra, and he doesn't want it, because he's never going to be point-blank with an enemy to get bludgeoned in the face in return. Yeah. The weapon... If Amon Ra dies, the whole scenario is over, so it's never worth him using it. As you can see, the conundrum there. He gets close enough to make it effective as a weapon... It'd be very easy for him to be one shot. I mean, we did just have someone get one shot killed just moments ago, so. Uh, Shum merchant. Alright, is that chip done? Still going. Ah! One of the huskies just got ripped up by a croc. Oh, they have gold. Looks like I need to make a batch of beer. And just to soothe people... Where'd that soother go? I'm gonna kick off the soother.
Robots, if you could stop, you know what? In fact, quit wandering into this area because you open up the door and you make it harder to insulate it. So I just did a work drive on Lady Shell so she can craft faster. The robots do need outdoor time. You know, if they need outdoor time, they're actually allowed out here. There's nothing stopping them from going out there. Except for that there's nothing to do out there. But you know, I, I could just stick them beyond the door. See, that's all you needed. Be forced outside. <laughs> Sweet freedom. I don't know if that's freedom. That's just uh, cage free androids. Yeah, if you ever have cage free eggs, it's in air quotes because um, just means they're in a bigger cage. So there we go. There's the chip just made. Let's try this again. You brain me operate. I've got 16 medical, 17 crafting. This thing's going in your brain, and I won't take no for an answer. So, medical chance is 102, Andrew. Android surgery chance is 96. So the android surgery chance for Elizabeth was 50. Oh, no, not Elizabeth. Uh, Lady Shell is who did it. Was 100%. So it was a critical fail. Thanks, Randy. You're the swellest. Leave it to the android god. Alright, let's flick on the... The, uh... Turn everything off. For the transfer, because we can't lose power during this transfer, or it's fatal. Off, 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 staying alive. Okay. We have positive power. So, Sky Cloud Downlord, Shell Bell's Consciousness. God, finally. Finally! Jesus. The Shell Bell Shell will be the Shell Bell. Oh, uh, where'd your Burka go? Oh, here it is. Amon Ra will go fetch the burka. I'll put a horseshoe pin out there. Sure. Or hoopstone, because, you know, we're tribal. Yeah, if a solar flare hits, I'll lose my mind. We have a shell bell! Finally! Morning power failure. Don't worry. It's by design. So, shell bell. Wear that burka. Uh, you'll be... Uh, I think your favorite color was pink originally. I don't even know anymore. I don't think robots have favorite colors. But pink burka... Um, you're a good doctor. 
you can construct and do research, I guess. If I ever farm in here, I guess you could farm, but it's too cold for that. Uh, hypersensitive iron will. Yeah, you're the same old shell bell. You've changed genders, but all androids are male. For whatever reason. I think this, um... This VX part that's in your brain... I can't take out? Yeah. Pac-Man ghost theme? <laughs> Seems like it, right? You're restricted to the lab. And you have now a robotic schedule. So I think we're good. We're all set up. Uh, at this point, I can start to power research back on because the computer core that was power hungry is offline. So emanators and all that can come back online. And Shellbell now lives as a robot. A robot that isn't particularly good at anything. But, no, no, she could be a doctor. So the real... Ugh, stupid gnats. The real power here is she is a Tier 4 robot. So if you're wondering what that means, uh, Tier 4 versus Tier 3, like, if we take a look here, Tier 4 android has, like, a base move, for instance, of 7.2. Whereas a Tier 3 is more human-like, has a base move of 5. Tier 4 androids are, like, super souped-up androids. Not that I'm going to use her for combat or anything, but they're very, very highly skilled. Their, um... Their global work speed is also cranked up like crazy. A base of 180 up from global work speed of 100 for a Tier 3. Like a Terminator versus a human, yeah, sure. But, you know. But you can see her whipping around now. Um... Yeah, so cool. That's uh, that's awesome, and I am exactly an hour over time. And that's where we're gonna wrap with leaving. Get the Bastet Spear as the only goal for two weeks from now. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld of False God, which originally streamed live on Twitch August fourteenth. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my Discord community, Rodamont.com has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.